Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Star Citizen. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me for this week's Star Citizen video. And we're still here on the 315 PTU. So we're still on the test server. And here is something pretty spectacular. So this is the Crusader Industries Hercules E2. So you guys have seen the C2, the M2, and here is the A2 finally. And with the A2 comes something pretty, pretty fantastic. A pretty spectacular characteristic. A, pre a pretty important characteristic. A pretty important gameplay mechanic comes to Star Citizen. And that is air-to-ground bombing. Yes, so this thing is here with its main mechanic. So this thing is a bomber version of the Hercules uh, transport uh, ship from Crusader. So the A2, as I said, is the bomber version. So it's not just a bomber. This thing is like an AC-130 uh, Spectre gunship. So in the real world, in the modern times, in our times, you have the C-130 Hercules, which is a transport plane. And then you have a modified version of it, which is called the AC, A for attack, uh, 130 uh, gunship. So this is the A2 gunship of the Hercules, the normal Hercules transport ship from Crusader. Now, uh, the, uh, the A2 can also, as I said, can carry bombs. So this thing can drop four MOABs. Now, a MOAB stands for mother of all bombs. Now, it's, as I said, it goes back to the Hercules thing. Now... Back in the 1960s uh, and early 70s, the, the U.S. used to drop these large bombs, these large, uh, what they used to call, the soldiers used to call daisy cutters. Uh, those large Moab bombs were dropped on, on jungle areas in Vietnam out of the back of uh, C-130 Hercules aircraft, and they would deploy a parachute, they would drop... And it would it basically is a large bomb. That type of bomb also existed in World War II as well. Uh, there was the Tollboy, the Tollboy bombs of, of World War II that the British used to use. So yeah, this thing can drop a massive, massive bomb. And bombing, uh, air-to-ground bombing, is now in Star Citizen. That's what we're going to have a look at today. And specifically today, we're looking at the A2 as well. To give you guys just a quick, a very quick uh, rundown of the ship. Uh, what is the main differences between the A2, the M2, the C2 kind of. And immediately as you come up the back ramp, you see the Moabs. <laughs> and you guys can see right there, Moab 012. I believe in game they're called they're called Colossus bombs. So yeah, this is this is the front of the bomb, this is the back of the bomb. Now instead of parachutes. Instead of it dropping a parachute like the daisy cutter uh, of Vietnam, this thing deploys four fins, as you guys can see right there, just like the uh, Mark 82 Snake Eyes. So if you're familiar with uh, modern day contemporary times uh, bombs and aircraft and such, you would know that there's a bomb, a high drag bomb called a Snake Eye. So this thing is exactly like the Snake Eyes. So these four four paddle type things deploy they open to slow down the bomb as it drops now this is done so that the dropping aircraft can get out of the way get out of the uh, blast zone of the bomb so you don't you know inadvertently splash your own aircraft so these are called these types of bombs like that uh, are called retarded bombs, where the the speed of the of the bomb, the, the the rate of its descent is retarded either via parachute or by these fins that that they deploy. So you can drop or you can carry a total of four Moabs, four Colossus bombs, and these things are huge. So let me go ahead and go to the uh, <laughs> third person view so you guys can see. The size of one of these things next to an actual person it's crazy yes and they do have a huge blast radius they have a humongous blast radius <laughs> and you need to be careful you need to be careful not to uh, not to get yourself killed not to 
damage your own air, uh, your own spaceship or your friendlies on the ground. Now, before we go upstairs and take this thing out for a spin, let's go ahead and talk about the other aspect of this ship. So this is not just a bomber. This thing, as I said, is an attacker. So basically, as I said, just like the AC-130. So it, this thing, the difference between this and the M2 or the C2 is that this thing has a ton of more turrets. So most are size 4s, but um, yeah, there are a couple of size 3s, but this thing is bristling with uh, turrets all around the ship. So you got the chin one here, you've got the two ones up there that the pilot can control, and then you've got these ones here, these additional ones here, which are really, really nice for attacking stuff on the ground. So basically the A2 is a an amazing support ground support ship in my opinion as it stands right now this ship is the best multi-crew ship that you can have in star citizen now let's be very very honest here if you want to get your friends to come and play star citizen it's very very difficult to entice someone to come and play star citizen in a ship with you if they're just going to be sitting in a mining turret combat and fighting is the most exciting parts of any game and it's really really easy to to bring your friends along in this give them a turret give each person a turret this thing has like four or five different stations for turrets just give them give them a turret and then just fly over and do some some bunker missions or do some air to ground missions this thing is really really fun in that way and it's in my opinion as i said it is the best multi-crew ship in the game right now so the door closing panel for the rear door ramp door is moved here because obviously we have these two uh, large bomb racks bomb rotary bomb racks so in the future if you guys are wondering in the future this thing will be able to carry smaller bombs so it will be able to carry a larger number of smaller size bombs so that's will, that will also be a thing and there's a station here that you can go ahead and access which will eventually tie into this whole managing the the ordnance of the ship so you need an engineer or a bombardier i should say here um on this console but as it stands right now you drop the bombs from the pilot seat so yeah uh, in terms of cargo bay uh, this thing can carry, I believe the website says 230, around 230 SCU of cargo, so significantly less than the C2, the, the, the civilian version of the Hercules um, transport plane. So let's go ahead and climb up. And I'll show you guys the bunks. That's a little bit different, so you guys can see the bunks and the room over there, which we'll talk about in a second. So let's just come over here. So pretty much everything else is the same, like over here, except for these rooms right there. So have a look. <laughs> you have six bunks. So actually, no, you have eight. <laughs> what am I saying? I, I can't even count. So that's two, four, six, eight. A total of eight bunks. Obviously, this is a more militarized ship. This is a ship that, you know, designed to, you know, house soldiers. Check this out. So this is the little kitchenette, little dining area. And of course you can come back to the main deck through here. Obviously, as I said, this is all the same with the C2 and the M2, except for this room. Turrets, check this out, guys. So this is where you control all of the turrets that you guys saw down, down below the ship. So obviously the pilot can control the main guns and the bomb dropping the co-pilot i think can control a turret but there is another station that we'll look at in the cockpit in the bridge that can control two turrets but then the rest are controlled from here from these four stations which is really cool really nice and of course you have an armory as well which is pretty much the same thing as the m2 this is a really really nice ship a really nice multi-crew ship but although it has to be said, this thing is really expensive. Now, I don't own this ship. 
I don't I don't have this ship. I wasn't really interested in getting a an AC-130. As I said, that's what I saw this ship as being, an AC-130. Uh, but I can see now how incredibly fun this ship will be uh, with your friends if you're playing with, with a bunch of friends. And of course, we have a whole bunch of computers here. A whole bunch of computers and servers and whatnot. So that's about it for this part of the ship. Let's go ahead and move up to the uh, bridge. Of course, all of this is the same as the C2 and the M2. Escape pods. Is there more escape pods in this one? Am I making a mistake or there's two, four, six, eight? It looks like there is more escape pods here. Maybe I'm mistaken. <laughs> And here is the bridge of the A2. So this station right here is is different from the other variants. So you can go ahead and get in get in this one. And power on. And let's get in a turret. Come on. Let me get in a turret. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's the middle button. Okay, so this is the chin turret. So this is right underneath the cockpit, underneath the bridge. There we go. So this is the chin turret. The co-pilot can control, I believe, two turrets. I'm not sure, but let's just for a second, let's just go back and I'll show you guys the turrets, the turret controls in that room as well forgot to do that but yeah this ship if you have one of these ships uh make sure you bring some friends along because this thing will be really really interesting really fun to play as a support ship let's go ahead and turn it on enter remote turret aha uh -huh. have a look so this is the omni sky so I believe this is a size 4. This is a size 4 gun. Let's go ahead and fire. I think it's firing. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it's firing, but you get the, you get you guys get the idea. So this thing is bristling with guns underneath. Obviously, they're designed to shoot at ground targets. They're designed to provide support for the infantry, for the tanks on the surface of a planet. So that's about it. Now here comes the main part. The main point of this video is to show you the, the air to ground bombing uh, mechanic gameplay that has just been added to, to Star Citizen with patch 315. So let's go ahead and get inside the pilot seat. This is so cool. There we go. Engines on. Let's go ahead, select uh, weapons, missiles. There we go. So the Colossus bomb, you can see they're size ten. <laughs> so they're they're actually a, a size like a like a size ten. So this is pr probably the largest ordnance that we have so far in, in the game that they've talked about in terms of size. Even the Eclipse carries size nine torpedoes. And of course, four of them, and they detonate in terms of proximity. And of course, for the guns, as I said, we have the two size fives that the pilot controls. So let's go ahead and take off. Let's go ahead and take off. Raise the landing gear. Give you guys a look at the external shots of the uh, E2. So this is basically, as I said, a gunship. It's a gunship version of the M2 and the C2. So this is this thing probably has more armor. I'm guessing it should. It should have more armor. It will make sense if it does. So yeah. And of course you still have the um, VTOL capability as well. So you can go ahead and hover. Which is really nice. Now let's go. Without further ado, let's go and have a look at the uh, bombing gameplay in the game so if you want to access bombs so 
remember how they added the missile operator mode? It's the same sort of deal. So middle mouse button, and there we go. We're now, we're now controlling the bombs as the pilot. So we have four Colossus bombs, they're ready, but just have a look at the thing up, up top the, with the exclamation mark. It was telling us that we are within the blast zone of the bomb, so you need to be really careful. If you drop it here, you're pretty much committing suicide. <laughs> the bomb will detonate, uh, taking you along with uh, uh, with everything else that's down there. So let's go ahead and speed up, get, get some altitude. And we're going to come back, and there is an outpost over there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's flashing. We're going to drop a bomb on that outpost. <laughs> but there, there are pirates there, okay? It, it, there's no innocent people here. There's just uh, pirates. So we're going to go ahead and come back and drop a bomb directly on that outpost. Now, there are a couple of different really cool things that they've added to this bombing mechanic for ships obviously you'll get this on pretty much most ships most military ships so even the gladius will be able to carry small bombs so just uh, just a sec here you guys can see that we have a reticle down down the ground so if i go ahead and, and stop you guys can see that there is a circle so this is like a ccip constantly calculated impact point so if you if you guys uh have watched my dcs videos on my other channel you will see that modern aircraft have this these types of um, ballistics computers or or HUDs that that show you the points of impact. Now, because this is a large diameter bomb, obviously you get this large circle. So anywhere within this circle is where the bomb is going to drop. Obviously, this is not a guided bomb. Uh, guided bombs and stuff like that will come in later on down the line. So anywhere. In that circle is where the bomb should technically drop if we to if we are to release one right now now there are a couple of different options so for one you can go ahead and increase the the range on this the the let me go ahead and show you guys so I think there's a way to increase there we go to increase the range on the uh, the bombing pepper I'm not sure what's that, what that is used for. So 10 kilometers is the maximum. You guys can see. 7 kilometers. 6 kilometers. 3 kilometers. 500 meters. I'm not sure what that does. I have no idea what that does. And then of, of course you can go ahead and release the bombs in CCRP as well. So what is CCRP? So CCRP is constantly calculated release point. Now you do that by creating a reference point for the ship's ballistics computer. So currently I've mapped it to T. So you hold down T and there we go. So it's created a reference point for where you want the bomb to drop. Now you need to align, you guys can see, I'm not sure if you guys can see that dotted line with the green um, filled in circle. You need to align that with the middle one right there. And then you need to fly forward until basically tells you that this is this is where you need to drop. You need to keep that exactly centered. Now this is probably not a good example. If we just hold T again, it will delete that reference point. Let's go ahead and set up another reference point. Let's get up higher. I'll, I'll give you guys a better example. right there so if we fly through you'll see you need to keep that there and then obviously once you get the tone you release and the bomb impacts there we go see and boom you'd pickle right now you'd release the bomb right now and we're out of range now so let's go ahead and clear that reference point and gain some altitude. We need to gain some altitude, guys. So I'll see you guys once we've gained some altitude. We'll come back and we'll drop a bomb on that outpost. Alright, guys. Welcome back. So the problem with climbing high <laughs> right now and on Hurston is the cloud layer. So there's a cloud layer which will completely block our view of the ground. So I want to go ahead and line up here. The outpost should be somewhere around there. We'll set up a reference point around the uh, 
the outpost and we'll go ahead and drop one. As soon as it comes into view, you will start seeing the flashing lights. It's there because I've checked it right there. It's 13 kilometers away. Technically, for a bomb of this diameter, you should be higher than 3,000 meters. There we go. You can just make out where the light is flashing. And as soon as that's in range, we'll go ahead and set up a mark point. There we go, you can see the thing right here, the outpost. Let's see how accurate the bombs fall. But keep in mind, this is the PTU. Things will 100% definitely go wrong. And the game itself is also in alpha. See, in fact, it's pre-alpha. <laughs> Aha! So, right... There. Let's go back uh, right there. All right, now technically we should be able to fly straight and level. And this thing will tell us when to drop. Let's stay within the SCM speed. Let's not go too fast. Hope we don't get shot down. And release. One away. Let's fly away. We're getting shot at. Let's go to the bomb view. <laughs> what is the bomb doing? Oh, here it goes, here it goes. Boom. All right, let's go to the external view, have a look. Wow. <laughs> I think it obliterated the... Uh, the thing, the outpost. <laughs> Alright, let's go back for one more pass. Our reference point should still be there. Now, what we need now, CIG, is a targeting pod, and we need laser guided stuff as well laser guided bombs and GPS guided bombs. <laughs> we'll turn this game into DCS. Futuristic DCS. Alright, we'll. we'll Go back for a second pass. We'll drop another one. Everything down there should be dead. If we, if we don't get locked up, that means that the guns, the turrets, and everything on that out and that outpost have completely been uh, obliterated. Come on. Can we drop another one just like this? Why isn't it giving me any tones? Uh huh. And pickle. Bombs away. Now, for this one, we're going to go ahead and go to the external view only. Turrets are still there. Oh, nice! Nice! Bullseye! That was accurate! That was remarkably accurate. You guys have a look at the, the, the blast radius. Oh my goodness. That was cool. You gotta admit, that was really, really cool. So you gotta wait exactly for, for that green dot to be aligned with... Um, the center dot, and then release. So let's go ahead and drop one without that. Let's go ahead and drop one just in CCIP mode. For that, I, I'm thinking we need to climb. Now I'm starting to get my uh, DCS fighter pilot helmet on here. Uh, I'm putting the uh, the target to my uh, nine o'clock. 
can go ahead and do a dive <laughs> to the best of our ability though whatever that means all right now let's go ahead and release so one away let's fly away you can see the bomb just look 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 look, look behind the thing I'm not sure if this one's gonna hit. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Turrets are still up. How are the turrets still up? Oh, that missed. That completely missed. Even though that the CCIP was telling me. Hmm. Am I doing this wrong? You guys should let me know if I'm doing this wrong. Let's go back. One more pass. <laughs> Oh, you need to be of a higher angle. Just take a look at that. Okay. That makes sense. I, I said it. I said it myself. I said you need to be at a higher angle. We need to dive. Okay. That makes sense. So you need to be higher. Much, much higher angle. For the bomb to work that way. In the CCIP. Which makes sense. Which absolutely makes sense. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys something really, really cool. So, the bottom of the ship, you guys see that? So let me go ahead and turn off the missile operator mode. Have a look. The bomb bays close. And when you open it, when you go to the missile operator mode, or the bombing mode, in this case, the doors open, and the whole bombing mechanism just brings out the bomb and aligns it with the door, ready to drop. How cool is that? You guys see that on the left? That's so freaking cool. All right, we're going to drop one in CCIP. Let's go ahead and climb. But as I said, the problem with this is the cloud layer. So the cloud layer is pretty low. The overcast is pretty low, and that's kind of like forcing us to... Let's go slower and try and dive on these guys. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do this in a Hercules. Probably in a small fighter. I'm kind of strafing up now. Let's see where the bomb impact point is. All right, so the, the pink circle, the, the, the pinkish circle is where the bomb is going to impact, right there, not the white circle. Makes sense. So I'm strafing, strafing, strafing. Obviously, this is not an aircraft, so it's pretty easy to do this. You can fly in, in, in three dimensions, so... Okay, ready. And drop. Let's go ahead and watch that. Aha! Have a look. <laughs> it's going crazy so you guys can see the paddles let's deploy those those uh, uh, paddles to obviously to, to increase drag as I said on the bomb allow you to escape here's the ship <laughs> and there goes the bomb this is going to be a bullseye what is my ship doing there we go. Boom! Nice! <laughs> so technically, everyone and everything down there should be completely obliterated. This is being pretty cool. Wow. Very nice stuff, CIG. I'm really, really happy that this this is a thing now in Star Citizen. <laughs> but the turrets, I'm guessing, are still alive. Yep, they're still alive. Yep, they're shooting at us.
even though they should be completely obliterated. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this quick first initial impressions of the bombing, air to ground bombing mechanics in Star Citizen and of course the A2 uh, gunship, the A2 gunship, Crusader Industries Hercules A2 gunship here in Star Citizen. Obviously this gameplay mechanic is very very new to the game, it will take some time before it's completely matured, before we get different, you know, types of bombs, smaller bombs, laser guided bombs, you know, missiles, guided missiles, and so on and so forth, air to ground stuff, I mean. So it will be a while before this system is completely matured, but it is very, very fun. It is very, very cool to do. But although having said that, there aren't really much gameplay mechanics, probably none at all, except for, you know, bombing outposts, pirate outposts like that, there isn't much to do in terms of air to ground, of course, unless of course you, you play within your own org, you play with your friends, you know, try and duke it out on the ground, and then you have an A2 coming in and dropping a bomb, so yeah, it is, it, this, this ship will be one of the most funnest ships, most enjoyable ships uh, to play with your friends in a multi-crew aspect just check out all of, the, of those turrets so yeah ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys have found it uh, useful found it enjoyable and if you did go ahead and leave a like thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time until then please take care and bye bye